Hi everyone, welcome to Curated by Becta's meal kit number 149 for May 18th to the 20th. Thanks so much for ordering this week and thanks for letting us be a part of something special at home for you. Uh, and thanks to all the people who ordered some of our Mother's Day week kits. I uh, really hope you enjoyed them. Um, all right, why don't we go ahead and get started? So no oven tonight, which is pretty wild. And the appetizer main course, uh, two pans, two pots, and we're done. Um, so it should be very easy. I'm going to try to do it all at once, but I really encourage you guys to do um, your appetizer first, enjoy it, and then cook your main course afterwards. Um, first thing to do, take the, um, the Nagano pork loin and uh, put it on some paper towel, pat it dry, and then um, season both sides with salt and pepper. And get some tongs that we can just wash out of there. Um, this has been cooked sous vide already so that it's nice going to be nice and tender but resting it is going to be very important to make sure that it's tender as well okay got my pan warming up nicely i can already see some of the the heat one tablespoon of neutral oil per person in there and same thing with the gnocchi all right so the pork is going to take the longest because it needs to rest and then we have to do the veg in this pan afterwards and so I'm going to keep that, those tongs close by to put the fork and then I'll use fresh ones. You don't want to use the ones that have been touching the raw-ish uh, pork in there. Okay, so this guy, we're going to put the gnocchi in. Now this is a potato gnocchi rather than the Parisian gnocchi, which we've done in the past. So a medium-high heat. Make sure your hood fan is on, so sorry about the audio because uh, it's gonna smoke a little bit. So you wanna make sure to do this. Now, two minutes per side for the pork, 90 seconds for the gnocchi. You can give it a, give it a stir, make sure that the oil coats it so it doesn't stick. I've got uh, both our uh, horseradish demi-glaze and our beef puree on low. Just give them a stir every once in a while. All right, let's see how our pork is doing. Are we close to the two minutes? Yeah, you want a nice little brown, but you want to make sure not to overcook it. Gnocchi is good. I think we're throwing our asparagus in now. It's been 90 seconds. I'm going to turn up the heat just a touch. Pork over. We can get rid of this. And we'll get some fresh tongs to pull. Um, the pork out with later on. All right, so what's next with our asparagus? Three minutes until your gnocchi is lightly caramelized, and then uh, we're gonna add the spring garlic cream and bring it to a bit of a simmer. Non-stick pan for the gnocchi and uh, the pork. We're looking for a cast iron or heavy, heavy bottom pan. Let's have some wine. This is a little Gruner Ventliner, Groovy Gruner from Rabel in Kamsau, Austria. I love this one. We use it once a year for curated, and I just love it. It's great with asparagus. It just tastes of spring. All right. So it's been about two minutes on here. So I'm going to turn the temperature down. And we're going to melt one tablespoon per person of unsalted butter in there. If you're using a cast iron pan, make sure you don't burn yourself. I can now almost turn this off. I'm going to wait till I baste. So as soon as the butter is melted, you can just move it around. And then we bake. My induction stove is going to get mad at me. And by my recollection, I think we're 30 seconds per side for the basting. Now I can definitely turn my hood fan off. Give the gnocchi a little more of a spin. And the butter bathing continues on the other side. I guess I can just look at the camera and bring this all over here. Um, I had the good fortune to do some of our deliveries last week. 
Uh, it was just super busy and it was all hands on deck and I just met the nicest people. So thank you for chatting me up at your doorstep and being so accommodating and, and I don't know, lovely about your whole curated experiences. Okay, so our pork is done. Now it just needs to rest for five minutes. And then we go back and I think we put it on medium heat. Um, so sear the spatzel for three minutes before stirring. We've got two pasta uh, accompaniments today. Okay, so I think it's been three minutes. So the spring garlic cream is going in here. This is really awesome stuff, so make sure you get it all. That'll coat the gnocchi really well. Okay, so um, that uh, pork, so yeah, the spätzle is going in. I just wanna make sure we're going back up to medium high heat. I'm gonna write that down. And as soon as the butter starts to go, which is, is, make the spätzle up. I'm going to need a little spatula for this. All right. And our spring garlic cream looking good. Um, once the cream is simmering and you add your spinach and wilt for 30 seconds. And don't forget to season it well with salt and pepper. And you know what? Chef Rich said two minutes on the spätzle. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go back to that. I was thinking three minutes, but it was two minutes. Hmm. Now I'm going to need another spatula. I'm going to add a couple spatulas to this. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to use this spoon. This is my favorite spoon. Let's see if it's got some nice brown going on in the spatula. It does. We can mix that around. And by the way, on the demi glass, we need to add a half a tablespoon of butter per person and give it a stir. All right, this is a whole lot easier when you're only doing one uh, dish at a time. Okay, spades are looking good. And I think the kale and the beets go in next. Pickled beets and kale for an additional three minutes. There's a lot of kale in here and some bigger pieces. I'm gonna chop that up. I wish I had a bigger cast iron pan, in fact, but that'll wilt very quickly. And let's add the pickled beets. That's going to help. Wilt it away as well. Weigh it down. Okay, the gnocchi is looking pretty fabulous. Use a non-stick spoon here. Let me make sure I've done it all. Yep. We're gonna to top with almonds afterwards. This smells amazing. Usually it's just, or usually it's my wife and I and my son, our son, but uh, tonight she's off for a board meeting. She volunteers at the Ottawa Art Gallery on their board. And so it's boys night tonight with some gnocchi, asparagus gnocchi. That looks great. Now, I probably should have used a larger pan. I'm gonna change the instructions to say a large pan, not a medium pan. 
because of all the veg that needs to be tossed around here. Kale is almost wilted. Let's emulsify this butter in here for the demi glaze. Make sure the beef puree is looking good. And we're going to top this with the almonds. And there we are, a lovely asparagus gnocchi. And dessert is actually going to be last, which is unusual. But I wanted to keep it in the fridge because this guy really needs to be chilled. Oh, by the way, I was supposed to melt some butter in, into... Nope. Don't need it in that. I did it on the pork. The butter is in there. I could probably have too much butter. This is a first. Well, make sure to double check the instructions because maybe I was supposed to put some in the gnocchi. No, I don't think so. Yeah, maybe I was. Anyway, the garlic cream is going to be great. So I'm not too worried that it's not going to be rich enough. But apologies if I skipped a step. That's what you get for doing the appetizer and main course at the same time. Okay. That's going to go over there in just a second. Turn that guy off, give that guy a stir. I do know that the beet puree goes down first. If you have some non-stick pots, I would definitely suggest it for the beet puree. It just comes out so much nicer and you don't leave any behind. And you can just draw your spatula right through it. And there we go. The veg is up next. Wow, this smells great. By the way, there's a little bit of pickling liquid with the beets. I did not um, drain it off. If you would like to, I think that's a great idea. Um, I don't mind a little extra acid, a little extra bite in mine, but to each their own. There's a lot of stuff here. Leftovers for my wife, in case she did not get enough food at her board meeting. They do feed them, which is a nice thing. For resting, I like using a, a cookie sheet, but you can really use anything you want. And where did my knife go? There we are. So you want to cut it on the short side and just in three pieces. And it wants to be just a little bit pink inside, just a tiny little bit. That means it's sort of medium. And because this is heritage breed pork, you don't have, you can cook it a little bit less than, than other um, traditionally raised pork. There we go. Don't forget to season it with salt and pepper at the end. And the wine tonight for this is a Graciano Cabernet blend from Spain, Spain's largest organic winery, and it's delicious. Mm. Okay, sauce. Turn off your burners. Very important. I'm going to use a spoon for this guy. You can sauce the pork, and I like to put it on the veg. I don't want to mess up that beautiful... Um, that beautiful beet puree. So keep it away from that. That's looking gorgeous. Make sure our son gets some of that. How great is that? 
Beautiful. And then finally for dessert, super easy. Strawberry and lemon tart. With marshmallow fluff, which is already torched. And we've got some hazelnuts going on top tonight. I usually like to plate this in a bowl, but I really wanted the gnocchi in the bowl tonight. All right, there we are. Lemon and strawberry tart with hazelnut fluff. Hope you love your meal. Thanks for ordering this week. Thanks for letting us be a part of your special celebration at home.